A five-year-old girl is dead. Another horrific case of child abuse in Bear County. Tonight, her mother taken into custody and charged with injury to child. The mother's boyfriend was arrested this morning on the same charge. Arrest documents detail weeks of torture and abuse. Eyewitness News reporter Lisa Yavez sat down with family who say the bruises and neglect began shortly after the girl was born. Five-year-old Mercedes Lasoya was known for having a big loving heart. Loving, very sweet. She loved God. She loved going to church. She loved school. She loved her sissy. Her father's side of the family says CPS called yesterday, telling them tragedy struck when Mercedes and her sister were in their mother's care. It's sad to say, but we automatically knew it was something to Mercedes. She had a lot of anger towards Mercedes. I don't know why, but um, she favored Jordan, and I saw that right off the bat. For as long as the Lasoya family can remember, they say they always noticed injuries on the little girl. Bruising, bruises, all on her face, her arms and everything. They say the abuse and neglect began just weeks after Mercedes was born. Weeks old, they said she hadn't had a bottle in, what, two, three days? The Lasoyas claim they tried to get custody of Mercedes, but were unsuccessful. Her father told us off camera he last saw his daughters in October. Since then, he said their mother wouldn't allow him to see the girls. My son had no part of what happened to my to my granddaughter. Arrest documents reveal in disturbing detail the torture and extreme abuse Mercedes went through at the hands of her mother's boyfriend, Jose Ruiz. The document says the girl experienced countless hits to her body. Mercedes' mother brought her to a Southside hospital Monday where she was pronounced dead. Police say her body was swollen and covered in bruises and cuts. Because I couldn't help her, because he couldn't help her, because we all couldn't help her, that's a better place for her than what she lived the five years that she was here on Earth. Family held a vigil tonight to remember Mercedes in hopes justice will prevail in court. The Department of Family and Protective Services tells us the family has been involved with the department before. Alicia, do we know where Mercedes' older sister is right now? Sharon, the six-year-old is in foster care. The Lasoya family tells us they're fighting for custody, but that process could take approximately two months. Live on the Northwest Side, Alicia Neaves, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Alicia.